video, I'm going to show you how to find the derivative of y is equal to x to the 1 over x power. And in fact, I will be using the result of this in some of my future videos, so just wait for those. And also, let me tell you, this is a pretty popular Calc 1 differentiation question. So, if you're in Calc 1, this right here is for you. Anyway, in this video, I will just show you guys how to find the derivative of this. And also, I will present you guys two ways so you can show your work, okay? Anyway, here is the first deal. As we can see, we have y is equal to x, namely a function for the base. And you see, 1 over x is also a function for the power. When we have a function to a function power, we can just try to take the natural log on both sides, and we can bring the power to the front, right? By one of the log properties. So let's get to work on that. So let me write down the original equation, namely y equals to x to the 1 over x. And as I said earlier, I will just take the natural log on both sides, like this. So on the left-hand side, we will still have ln y. But on the right-hand side, you see the power is 1 over x. By the ln property, we can bring that to the front, right? So we will have 1 over x times ln of x. And this is just by one of the ln properties. You don't minus 1, right? This is not a power rule for derivative. Now, we can look at this equation and differentiate this with implicit differentiation because the y is no longer isolated. You can try to isolate the y, but you know, I will save that for the second write-out for the uh, showing work. Anyway, we can handle this. Let me just put down d, dx across this equation to mean that we are going to differentiate this with respect to x implicitly. So now let's get to work. When we take the derivative of ln y, derivative of ln of something, we will first get 1 over the inside, which is 1 over y in this case. But we multiply by the derivative of the inside. Well, y it's a function of x. The chain rule says we have to multiply by the derivative of inside, and y is a function of x, so we multiply by dy dx. This is how we squeeze out the derivative, okay? So this is the derivative of ln y with respect to x. And now moving to the right-hand side. If you look at this, 1 over x times ln x, Yes, you can put down the ln x on the top and say that's ln x over x. But I prefer to do the product rule right here, okay? So I will look at this as the first function. This is be my second function. I will do the quotient rule later if you would like. Anyway, the version of the product rule I'm going to use is I'm going to keep the first function, so that's 1 over x, and we multiply by the derivative of the second, the derivative of ln x with respect to x is just 1 over x. Continue. We add the second function, which is just ln x, and we multiply by the derivative of the first with respect to x. The derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x to the second power, like that. And now we are pretty much done. The rest is just algebra to get dy dx by itself. And also, you see, on the left-hand side, we have 1 over y. What we can do is we can just multiply both sides by y so that this and that will cancel. And let me multiply the entire right-hand side by y as well. And I will look at the y and write that back in terms of x so that our answer will be in terms of x, okay? So, you see, we have the dy dx on the left-hand side, and this is pretty much the answer. And then this is the equal sign, and the y is x to the 1 over x power. So let me just write this down. And then for the inside here, 1 over x times 1 over x is just, of course, 1 over x squared, and then positive times negative, that's minus, and then we can now put this on the top, which is ln x, and then we have the x squared like that. And you see, we have the same denominator. We can just combine the fractions together. So finally, dy dx, namely the derivative of this, is equal to 
x to the 1 of x times x squared on the bottom, and then we have 1 minus ln x on top, like that. And this right here is the answer. And as I said, this is the first way to show your work, okay? Now, let's look at the second way. I will say, let's go ahead and differentiate, so d dx of that. I will put down the x in red and the 1 of x in black, like this, okay? And you see, I'm not using the y, but anyway. First thing that you have to know is, still the same trouble. We have a function to a function power. But in that case, this is what we do. The base right here is x. We don't like that. We like to work with space e, okay? So now, if you look at x, our goal is to write x as e to some power. Well, e to what power will give us x? e is the exponential base. Well, if we raise that to its inverse, name the, the logarithm, they cancel out. So name the, I can just have ln x right here for the power. e to the ln x, they cancel out, we will just get the x, right? So this is a pretty useful conversion whenever we need to. Anyway, we'll continue. This right here, we are going to differentiate. x is that now, which is e to the ln x. And then, I will raise that to the 1 over x power, okay? And as I said, this is the second way to present your work. But anyway, now this is the inside. Raised to the 1 over x. And when we have a power to a power, we just multiply the powers. So now, this is the same as saying, we differentiate e for the base deal, and this times that, so it's just 1 over x times ln x. But let me write it down as ln x over x. How is that? Okay? ln x times 1 over x is just 1 over x times ln x, like that. And when we do that, I'm going to differentiate this much happier. You'll see why. This is going to be the following. This is the time we can differentiate. When we have e to the something, of course, this part repeats first. We first have e to the ln x over x, like this, okay? And the truth is, e to the ln x over x, this right here, is still the original part, all right? Anyway, now we have to talk about the chain rule, right? Because this is just the exponential part, it repeats first, and then we differentiate whatever we have right here. Here is the time I will do the quotient rule for you guys. The quotient rule says, I will have to square the denominator, and then I will take the bottom right here, multiply by the derivative of the top. Derivative of ln x is 1 over x. And then next, I'm going to subtract the top function, namely ln x, and then we multiply by the derivative of the bottom. Derivative of x is just 1, so we multiply by 1, like this. At the end, you see, this is, once again, e to the ln x over x is the original, all right? This is the same as that. So let me rewrite this as x to the 1 over x. And then for this part, the denominator is x squared, and then x over x, pretty much, is just 1, and then ln x times 1 is just ln x, and that's a minus in between. And you see, we end up to have the same exact result. It seriously depends on how you would like to present your work, right? I personally prefer that way, I would say. It's easier. You can also talk about implicit differentiation, but I know some of you guys may prefer to do it this way. But anyway, you can let me know in the comment section to see which one you like better. And 